Hello everyone, it's Nayland here at Naditech Studio. Welcome back. So today we'll be looking at elevations and particularly we'll be looking at working elevations. So what do I mean by working elevations? Well, they are the elevations without color added to them. They are elevations without textures added to them. Well, in summary, they are the boring elevations. Just black and white, nothing fancy, and they just serve the purpose of conveying the technical information to the contractor or whoever it is that is going to be constructing. Well, previously we covered a video on how to improve the line weights of your floor plans. Now, if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend it. I'll leave a card to that video on the top right corner of this video and as well in the description below. So please check it out because some of the concepts that we did cover, we will cover them today, such as the graphic overrides, because in the attempt to improve elevations, graphic overrides will come in handy. So for this example, we're going to use a warehouse design. So you can see the floor plan right here and I'm going to pick an elevation right here. With this selected, I'm going to right click and say open with current view settings. And if I do zoom in, it has a graphic override, which is in there that we covered in the graphic override video, because this is a column. And essentially, if I go back to the floor plan and try to zoom in in one of those sections, I'm going to pick a zoom tool here. You can see that these line weights are pretty OK for the floor plan. Now, this is perfect for floor plans, but when it comes to elevations, it's a complete nightmare. You don't want this to show up. Now we will open back that elevation and you can see what is happening here. So first things first, we need to remove that override that is creating this discrepancy because we want to create something so much better. So I'm going to go to document, graphic override and say no override. And now we get back to the defaults. Now, if you go to the tab right here and right click and go to elevation settings, you go to the dialog box right here. And under the dialog box you're interested, you need to look for model appearance. Now, in the model appearance, we have a few categories that are presented to us. First is cut elements. And essentially, these cut elements, well, we're dealing with elevations, it's, so it's not like we are cutting through the building. So we are just cutting away from the building and looking at the building in elevation. So those are not going to be helpful for us. So we are need to collapse that. And then we have uncut elements, which is perfect for us. Now, in cut elements, we have a few things that need to change. First is the uncut fill. And in case you have any other thing, you want to choose the uniform pen color that is non-shaded. So make sure that that is selected. And for the pen color field, you might need to choose the window background. And that will bring whatever color you have at the background, whether it is black or whatever color you so wish to work with. But by default, Archicad has a white background, and that is what is going to be seen in your revenue elevation so with that we also need to make sure that you check the uniform uncut pen so with this checked you choose whatever pen it you so wish to use so currently we have a 0.13 so i'm going to make this 0.15 which is a lighter kind of pen and as well don't don't forget to check surface cover field because this is what will enable you to see these in elevation, this brick kind of texture thing going on. And then we say OK. And then you can see that that is what actually it does. I'm going to go back and actually I prefer the one which was there before. So right click and go to elevation settings. And all you have to do is to change from the, the uncut pane from this one to the 0.13, I think it looks perfect. And there you are, you have yourself an elevation. And now you can save this elevation and produce it to a layout and it will work just fine. But the issue that we have is that this elevation is kind of flat because it's the same pen you can see uh, with the, if we 
right click and enable line weights because you know when you uncheck that you can see that the line weights disappear but if i right click and make sure that true line weight is checked you can see that this exact pen is both on the texture and on the outline of the building which is i kind of don't like which is what the second method is going to be for but before we go for the second method we want to be able to try out also another way of using this very fast method which is i think is pretty cool now we're going to look for another block for this i'm going to browse through my blocks here and i'll look for block a and we should change to a floor plan to somewhere else which is somewhere right here i'm going to zoom in and look for an elevation and for this example i'm going to pick this elevation because interesting things are going to happen in the elevation let's right click and open with current settings and by default this is what we have well we have an issue here this building is supposed to be in front and then these other stuff is at the back and if i try to show you in 3d such that you may understand the stuff that i'm talking about like i was telling you we have an elevation which is facing from this other side so we have this part and then this is at the back as well as this there which is at the back so how do we achieve that depth in an elevation such that it's not misinterpreted to all be in the same plane so if we look here in the elevations currently it's flat and in order to achieve depth to it we might want to go to the section settings so for that i'm going to go to the tab right click and go to elevation settings and under elevation settings we want to be in model appearance and this time we will scroll down to something here called third distant elements and that is the option that you need so if we check that we have a bunch of other options that are presented to us and as well like we saw before the uncut element you want it to be the very first option which is uniform pen without any shading and then we, we also have a pen which is going to be the color fill and we did choose the background before which will work for us now again and making sure that the uniform uncut pen is checked and as well as the line we need to choose something which is lighter than the pen that we chose before and looking at this this is a like probably a 0.13 pen which is this pen right here at the top but this time I need to choose something which is lighter, which is kind of pretty cool there, which, which is kind of laid back. And with the cover field check such that we, can, we are able to see some texturing or some brick texture in the elevation. And we say, okay, now we have something pretty cool going on. So now we can see that this part is at the front and this stuff has been sent to the back just by fading them in, in a distance now i personally wish that archicad would allow us more control to have like, maybe two levels of this distance so how do you control this distance well it's done in the floor plan and i'll go back with this elevation selected i'm gonna have it selected you can see that currently this uh, distant elevation stops here so if i move it back says that only this elevation part has been excluded i'm going to move it all the way to here and i open that elevation again should probably be this one right here and it auto generates you can see that right now this elevation has been brought to the front and this only the stair has been taken to the back so that's how you control it and like i told you i wish that we had a way to split that such that we have three more three levels such that we have this one and then this layer and this other layer but unfortunately we have only two so i think the better option is to take this back to take this back to before that building which is somewhere around here says that now if we go back to that elevation this is a much better representation where we have a front here and this stuff at the back it's all pretty cool but 
I love the options that the graphic override presents to us because currently we cannot even control how the differentiate the outline of the building from the field itself because the texture to give us more control Akikad should give us more options to control the texture to control the texture differently from the outline of the building but for now what i like to do i'm going to go back to the very first example which is right here now we're heading into the second option which is graphic overrides and this is how we're going to achieve it so we need to go to document graphic override and we go to override combinations and now we're going to create a an override a graphic override setting or rule for this kind of stuff so i'm going to go ahead and create a new graphic override i had already done it you can see i have some elevations here but let's name it something else i'm going to name it elevation override such that it's not similar to what i have done already and then i say create create and we have created a new combination now in this combination I just want to affect things differently because currently this is a flat thing because it's the same pen everywhere but i want to affect the cover feel differently from the outline of the building and together with the the openings or something like that because now i can say in this graphic override tool right now there's nothing in there but i can create a rule for the outlines and make them so let's go create a rule for the outlines. You can see I already have it, but let's create a new such that, you know, you don't get, you can't be able to create it on your own. So I'm going to say outline and in order to make it different from what I already created, because it's not going to allow me to have the same thing. I'm going to say outline bold because I need it to be bolder than the one before. It doesn't matter what you call it. So I'm going to say outline bold. So what is in that rule so make sure that we go to edit rules so in there by default we have element type set to all types that means this is going to affect everything which is okay by now and all we want to do with this is to check the line type because that's what we want to affect and right now it's set to this 0.13 pen and for my case, I like to use the 0.2 because I need it to be a little thicker than 0.13. Yeah, just a preference. So I'm going to make it 0.2 and I say OK and that's all I need. And now if I say OK, just uh, for now, there's a slight difference. You can see that this pen already is thicker than this other pen and you can see that. And that's how quickly it is that you can be able to use the override. But then again, I want to also reduce this uh, cover view to make it a little bit to the back because it's, it's a texture on a surface. So I like to make it lighter. So I'll go back. I'm going to go to document, graphic overrides, and go override combinations. And I want to add another, combi another rule in these combinations, which is the elevation override so i'm going to add another one which is going to be create a new rule and this time i want to affect cover fields so i'm going to make it cover fill i think i already have this one so i'm going to say cover fill grayed out whatever you want to call it so say okay and now it has been created and i need to edit this rule and uh, tell archicad that what i need here is to affect everything which is a cover feel, essentially. And you, Akika does that for us because it captures them right here. You can see the fill type, which we do not want to change because we do not want to change our brick into something else. Or if we had stone to make it something else, we just want to stick with our brick. So we are not touching the fill type, but we are touching the foreground and background pens. So what will be the foreground pen? I need it to be light. So in order for us to see it dramatically, I'm going to choose a very light pen. And as well, the background is going to be a background pen, which I'm, I needed to stay white because essentially I'm just overriding the pen 
and making it stay white or even if i never touched it it would stay the background pen which it was but either way if you had anything there you could override it so that's the only thing we're going to do now and say okay and let's do this and see what happens it did not work i know the reason why it did not work it did not change this to a light gray we may need to go back say graphic override and say override combinations and in that rule which is the cover field grayed out i'm going to edit rules we need to override the cuts the cover field here because currently this is overriding the cut surface but we just want the cover field yeah and let's say okay and say okay and that should affect that and you can see that right now we have control so now this is much more communicative of what i would want this elevation to look like in my opinion so i can see that now we have this outline and then we have this texture affected differently and that's how you really work with uh, graphic overrides which is pretty interesting right because right now for example we we affected everything but you can see that these lines are also thick so maybe that's those you can remove them from the selection and as well the the doors so the beauty is you can go back and remove those from within so if i go options document graphic override and i go graphic override combinations you can always uh, go to the outline bold and uh, add another element for example i can say here on add i say like element and the element type for example is that door if i select that door here i make sure that i'm saying that it's all types and is not a door so make sure that it's all types and then i change this to and it is not a door it should be this outline yeah such that you know if you wanted to make those out uh, in an outline you would actually affect them differently if i say okay you can see that this door has been ignored and right now it's taking on the things which we had in the elevation settings if you know what i mean and you can see that this is much thicker than the door outline we can say document graphic override override combinations and in the outline board we can edit the rule to include also another element so say add uh, an element we say also and also is not a grid element so uh, if we exclude grid elements and say okay you can say that quickly uh, grids have been ignored from that selection so we can put another override on the grid elements essentially you get the point and the beauty is you can save this graphic override and reuse it in other projects which is really cool so i don't have to go through the same process for another project so that's it that i wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon